While many personal branding photographers feel like they're going the extra mile when they do some heavy retouching work on every single photo that they deliver to their clients, the opposite is actually the truth. And we're gonna talk about why this is the case in this video. But first, if you're looking to learn more about the how and the why behind building a referable personal branding photography business through better experiences and results for those in front of your camera, subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of insights and tips shared throughout all of these videos. Now, when it comes to retouching, I have a very simple rule that I follow with every single client session. If the blemish can be removed either through makeup or time to heal it, then I remove it in Photoshop. Also, if there's a weird thing going on with their clothing or their jewelry and accessories, that also can be fixed in Photoshop too. And on some very rare occasions, if there was a photo taken where the client looks unflattering and it was on me because I didn't adjust them properly in front of the camera and there are no other photos taken that would have the same type of look to it, I will go into Photoshop and adjust that to create more of a flattering photo too. But if the blemish is permanent on their face or any part of their body, then it does not get retouched out. That includes wrinkles, birthmarks, scars, freckles, added weight, or anything else that is permanent. Now, this rule does not apply to all types of people photography. I'm specifically talking about personal branding photography for service-based business owners. In addition to offering the products and services that they provide to their people who need their help the most, these particular business owners are in the business of building relationships. As a result, if you retouch every single blemish off their face and then on top of that, liquefy 20, 30 pounds off their body, you are distorting reality to the point that they don't even look like the person that they actually are. Here's the problem with that. They need to look like the person that they are in real life as they do in their photos. Because if they don't, it's going to turn off potential clients, members, and subscribers. Why? Because all of this photo manipulation casts doubt in their minds. It looks as if your client is trying to intentionally lie to their audience for the sake of vanity. And if they're willing to lie to their audience about something like that, what else could they be lying about? And just like that, the trust between your client and their audience is now gone. And it's extremely difficult, if not damn near impossible, to get that trust back. The goal of sharing image content is to attract an audience, not repel it. In addition to maintaining the integrity of your client's likeness, doing less retouching also has an added benefit to your business as well. Doing less means less post-production time, which means you get to over-deliver to your clients all of the finished photos. And when you over-deliver with a speedy turnaround, that only helps to build your reputation as a specialist working with these types of folks, and your clients will be so happy that they received them so quickly that they're going to be more likely to go ahead and sing your praises to everyone just like them who could benefit from the work that you two just did together. Sometimes less is more. If you found value in this video, please like and comment as well as share it with those that you think would benefit from hearing the insights. Well folks, that's all for now. Be well in life and photos and I'll catch you next time.